Hi guys, Kai Kurosawa once again. You're hearing one hand bass. In today's demo and sample lesson, we are doing more of a funkier groove using one hand bass creating actual notes and also 16 notes, ghost notes. Um, yeah. And then my pinky is acting more like a rhythm guitar. And so we will break that down as well. So this groove that I'm doing, it's an E minor seven, if you will. Notice I can get a low E up here with Kubo. Usually, you know, like say like you get a E like with the open string or you can get E over here, but then with this instrument, I can get it up here, which is pretty cool. Um, due to the having the F sharp. Let's break that down. So we have pluck, pluck, pluck. So that's E to the high E. I am actually holding the first note with the index, plucking with the ring, and then holding the octave E with the middle finger, and then plucking that with the pinky, and then sequentially plucking that with the ring finger. And so you get and then I'm actually pulling off the middle finger and muting the string over here with my index. So that gives me actually a way to mute, to get more of a ghost note, if you will. And then playing the D. So combine that together. Sounds pretty good, huh? And honestly, if you think that sounds like ass, that's, that's fine, you know, I mean, you're welcome to. Once we hit the D, now we're gonna hammer on to the E and then play the G on top. Sounds pretty good. And then, so we got ghost note, pluck, and then um, pull off, get the ghost note, and then play the D. And then similar thing with the B, except this time I'm hitting, pluck, and then immediately pulling off to the A, and then hammer on the B, and we're back to the E, slowly. Now let's get into the left hand. So the left hand is actually trying to imitate a rhythm guitar, a funk guitar, if you will. So I'm holding a chord, pretty basic, just E, B, D, G, and just strumming that. It's a little tricky, you have to get used to how that feels, but once you kind of get an idea of how that feels, you know, it might take a little while, but you can really start to develop it, especially getting strumming that way and then strumming this way as well, which is pretty cool. Hold the same shape, but lift your finger up from the fretboard so now you're not getting any actual pitch this way. In this case, I'm also doing so I'm tapping the D, tapping the E, so we get more like a Combine that with my bass hand. I need to still work on my pinky a little, lot more because, well, I've been working a lot on my right hand these days, so It'll, it'll get better in a couple of months. I'm sure the next time I do uh, another contents for like YouTube or new tunes with Keg, you're gonna hear me do a lot more 60 notes in my right hand. So look forward to that. I'm actually looking forward to that and I hope you are too. So one thing you might notice that is I have my fret wrap on the second fret today. Earlier, I think I even had it on the fourth. The reason why I like the fret wrap is I can actually move it around and kill the overtones most of the times when you see me play, it's on the first fret. And I can actually still use the open strings, which is actually something I really like, but having this really helps, it really aids me in um, muting. I do a lot of muting with both of the index fingers and other fingers, very bass player-like. This will definitely help. 
And especially with the groove like today, let's say like if I play it here, fret rap on the first fret. So that has its own sound, but if I want to make it sound tighter, let's say if I put the fret rap on the fourth, and now you'll hear a difference. It sounds a lot tighter already, see? Like if I have it here. Right, and then over here. There's definitely a difference. So if you are interested in that, I suggest you pick one up and then try moving it around depending on the style you're playing or the song you're playing. So shout out to Groove Gear for their fret rap. Once again, last time today's Groove was. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you like the video, do like the video, subscribe, buy some of my shito. If you'd like to take a private lesson with me, we can do that online or in person. Leave a comment, DM me for future videos if you have any specific topics you want me to cover. And I really appreciate your support. Thanks. See you next time, guys. And if you're wondering why these four strings are over here just, you know, with their thumb up their butts, because I'm not actually using them right now. I do use them in other times. So we'll find that out in a different lesson or a different demo, if you will.